Lorenzio. I was born in Urbino Marche on April 6th or March 28th, 1483. I don't remember. I am an Italian artist. I came from a family of artists, so I became an artist myself. I am the son of Maggio di Battista di Nicola Charla and Giovanni Senta di Pierto. I served as an apprentice to Andrea del Verrocino. Raphael's first piece is the Baronci altarpiece for the Church of St. Nichols in 1502. While an apprentice for Umbrian master Pietro Perugino, his first work was the Baronci altarpiece for the Church of St. Nicholas of Talentino in 1502. The Baronci altarpiece was made for Andrea Baronci's chapel in the Church of St. Agostino in Citta di Castello near Urbino. The altarpiece was seriously damaged during an earthquake in 1789, and since 1849, fragments of the original painting have been part of different collections. Pope Julius II summoned Raphael to Rome in 1508, where he was employed to complete the fresco decoration of a number of rooms in the Vatican. The best known of these works, and one of Raphael's most famous paintings, is the School of Athens, a majestic piece which glorifies the philosophers of antiquity, which was painted between 1510 and 1511. This painting represents philosophy. Commentators have suggested that nearly every Greek philosopher can be found in this painting. Plato and Aristotle are central, joined by Socrates to Plato's left. Eusilid, Pythagoras, and Epicurus, thousand the characteristic serenity and harmony of his style. This piece clearly displays Raphael's maturity and technical skill. This work portrays Renaissance as the new classical age. Heinrich Wolfen famous Swiss art critic observed, it is quite wrong to interpret the School of Athens as an esoteric treatise. The all-important thing was the artistic motive which expressed a physical or spiritual state, and the name of the person was a matter of indifference in Raphael's time. Okay, I want to tell you about Raphael Sanzio. Uh, the little I know about him was that he was an early Renaissance man and he painted uh, religious paintings, small political paintings. I'd say he leaned more toward the religious. And um, the main, the essence of his art to me was his, his drawings were simple and beautiful. He used unusual ways to delicately express people's faces. In the Head of a Youth, as one of his sketches are entitled, he used delicate lines, swerving lines, heavy lines, and a variety of other lines to express the emotional youth and delicacy of his young face. Thank you. Raphael is well known for his many images of the Madonna's representations of Mary, the mother of Jesus. The most famous of the Madonnas is the Madonna at the Gold Flinch. This was painted in his Florentine period. He had spent time traveling across northern Italy and was influenced by the Florentine styles he saw there. This is where the Florentine period is derived from. In this painting, Raphael arranged three figures, Mary, Jesus, and John the Baptist. The Madonna is shown young and beautiful. As with Raphael's very, various others, Madonnas, she is also clothed in red and blue, also typical, for red signifies the passion of Christ and blue is used to signify the church. The background is one typical of Raphael. The natural setting is diverse and yet all calmly frames the central subject taking place. The gold finch represents Christ's crucifixion. The reason for its association comes from the legend that its red spot was born at the time of the crucifixion. Raphael as a painter remains almost without a rival. 
Whether painting an altarpiece for a church, a large historical fresco, a portrait or decorative scenes from classical mythology, he seems to excel equally in each. And the widely different methods of painting and tempera, oil, or fresco are employed by him with apparently equal facility. Raphael's personal beauty, charm of manner, and deep kindliness of heart endeared him to all who knew him. His sincere modesty was not diminished by his admission as an equal by the princes of the church, the distinguished scholars, and the world-famed men of every class. In accordance with the spirit of the age he lived in, with considerable display and luxury, he was approached with the utmost deference by the ambassadors of foreign provinces, whether their master desired a picture or, as the Duke of Ferrara did, sent to consult him on the best cure for smoky chimneys. To his pupils, he was as a father, and they were all, as Vasari says, vinti dalla su cortesia. They formed round him sort of a royal retinue, numbering about 50 youths, each talented in some branch of the arts. Another painting of Raphael's is The Marriage of the Virgin. It is an oil painting completed in 1504 for a Franciscan church. The painting depicts a marriage ceremony between Mary and Joseph. It changed hands several times before settling in 1806 at the Pinacoteca de Brera. Lastly, the expulsion of Heliodorus from the temple is fresco, a technique of mural painting executed upon freshly laid lime plaster. Water is used as a vehicle for the pigment and with the setting of the plaster. The painting becomes an integral part of the wall. Raphael used this type of painting quite often. This painting illustrates a biblical episode from, Ma from 2 Maccabees. Heliodorus is ordered by Seleucus IV Philopater, this king of Syria, to seize a treasure preserved in the temple in Jerusalem. Answering the prayers of the high priest Onias, God sends a horseman assisted by two youths to drive Heliodorus out. Raphael was one of the last artists to use metal point which is literally a sharp pointed piece of silver or another metal. Although he also made superb use of, his free, of the freer medium of red or black chalk, in his final years he was one of the first artists to use female models for preparatory drawings, male pupils, Garzoni, were normally used for studies of both sexes. Raphael was as handsome and charming as he was talented, and he became so popular that he acquired the nickname the Prince of Painters. He gained the respect and patronage of Pope Julius II, and he spent the last 12 years of his life in Rome. Raphael died on April 6, 1520, at the young age of 37, in Rome, Italy. Before he died, Raphael had been working on his largest painting on canvas, the Transfiguration. His death was caused by a long night of excessive sex with his mistress, and he fell into a fever. Since he didn't give his doctors the correct cause, the doctors gave him the wrong cure, and he died. His funeral was celebrated at the Vatican, and his body was buried in the Pantheon in Rome. Giorgio Vasari, an Italian painter, wrote a biography of Raphael and said that he was so gentle and charitable that even the animals loved him.